Now, in honor of Eating Disorder Awareness Week, we're shining a light on the diversity of millions. people of non-binary uh, genders. Eating disorders affect people of all genders, ages, races, ethnicities, body shapes, weights, sexual orientation, and socioeconomic status. This is the fear of stigma, and it's exactly what keeps so many young women and men from talking about it and seeking help. In the past was this fear of stigma, fear of backlash, fear of being judged, fear of being compartmentalized. Trapped in the vicious cycle of an eating disorder. She says it is a secret that she kept for well over a decade. Didn't even talk to her family about it, but now she's breaking. underdiagnosed and research underfunded. Now hoping that by speaking out, she can help those who may be suffering in silence. Men of all races who are affected by these potentially dangerous and deadly conditions. It's all about love. Who would have thought that just me, regular old me, could now be someone that people can identify with, that people want to talk to about this, who could potentially help someone? the stigma and talking about the issues out loud and the importance about being able to talk about the problems out loud as a way to help people. Full recovery from an eating disorder is possible. Early detection and intervention are important. Truth number one, many people with eating disorders look healthy, yet may be extremely ill. 70% of people who may have an eating disorder do not uh, have treatment. The top reasons why the fact that they're ashamed. An eating disorder diagnosis is a health crisis that affects personal and family functioning. Families are not to blame and can be the patient's and provider's best allies in treatment. Together we stand.
Eating disorders are not choices. We can't afford to wait. I can see a halo.